really, what I'm saying is what the, the spiritual knowledge is saying, what the spiritual path is saying, not me. You really can and are supposed to overcome death down here where you cannot be killed. Because that is the best experience they have. The best one is don't be there when they're doing the killing. <laughs> the, best, the best divine guides you get. But to have the power over the things that harm human beings. It is another level of spiritual power. Well, well, where the gun just won't work. <laughs> you know, or the, the dude forgets where he put his knife. If he can't find it, if he can't find it, you know. <laughs> or he runs up on you and, and he forgets what he came up to do. <laughs> That's power. That's God standing in the face of what appears to be danger. That, that, that's a real black woman and a real black man. That's master, able and noble. That, that's what we're trying to do. The chakras help get us there. Why they are so important. They help to get us there. Okay, let me, I want to read uh, something very important here because I want you to encourage you about your development and the kind of experiences that you're going to have. Now leave that marker in here. To deal with the third chakra, Malapura, it's called. I want to read just this one little segment here. In terms of the, the purpose and function of the third chakra. In harmonious function, I'll read the, 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 two, the three paragraphs. The harmoniously functioning and open third chakra creates a feeling of peace and inner harmony with yourself, life in general, and your place in life in particular. You can accept yourself completely and also respect the feelings and character traits of others. You possess a natural capacity to accept your feelings, your wishes, and what you experience in life, to see them in the right light and recognize them as a necessary part of your development. Thus, you can integrate your feelings, wishes, and experiences in such a way that they lead to wholeness. All your actions are automatically in harmony with the cosmic laws of natural balance that apply to the entire universe and all human beings. When your actions contribute to the development of spiritual and material riches in both yourself and your neighbors, you are contributing to overall evolution. You are full of light and energy, and the light within you also envelops your body. It protects you from negative vibrations and radiates into your environment. If your, if your inner eye chakra and your crown chakra are also open, along with the third chakra, your wishes are fulfilled spontaneously. I'll read that again. If your inner eye chakra and your crown chakra are also open, you recognize that all visible matter consists of varying light vibrations. Your wishes are fulfilled spontaneously because you are so closely connected to the energy of light in all things that you attract everything you are in search of. In other words, when these three chakras here, here, and here are open. Anything you so desire, you can have. I'm talking about why you own the earth. We gotta get out of the way this learned thing that you earn your living by the sweat of your brow. That, that, that is what the spiritual path is saying. If there is an inheritance to be received. Now, Drew Ali told the earlier African Americans in the 20s that every black man and woman as Moors were to receive a million dollars in this country. And, and, and since then, you, you've seen a, a rash of growth of black men and women who become millionaires. That, that was his prophecy. 
to the Moors and Moor Science Temple in the 20s. The level of mind that you develop allows you to contain that which is yours. If you have it on the mental plane, it must manifest on the physical plane. That's the law of mind. The psychological assumption automatically provides the means to fulfill the dream desire. When the, these three major chakras are open, they work together to harmonize the energy of your consciousness so that you can mold a thing not only in the mental picture, but also in the energy form on the mental plane. <clears throat> that is where you come uh, as close to mental magic as you get. So the, the chakras being open are very, very important so that the power of the, again, the astral body, the etheric body, and the body of light can work through. We, we haven't gotten to the soul yet. But, but those are just all spiritual bodies, powers, that have charge over the earth. That, that, that's as far as, it, as we've gotten in, in terms of what your spiritual potential really is. I just wanted to bring, bring that up. This is a, a fairly interesting book. The problem I'm having with this is that they're, they're being too uh, pictographic. They, 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 the chakras don't look like the, the, these, you know. And so if you go in with a preconceived idea of what the chakra is going to look like, your subconscious will design you one. Okay. It, it can do anything, you know. So if you go in with the idea of center, of spiritual center, let the center reveal itself, then you really know what yours look like, which may vary from someone else's, depending on each one of our stages of development. You know, they aren't that, that vastly different, but they will certainly differ in levels and, and types of energy that are being emanated through that particular chakra. So don't get caught up in the pictures. The information is good. But what is better is the spiritual practice itself. Do not fear what you are about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about to cast some of you into a prison that you may be tested, and you will have tribulation ten days. Be faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. The crown, the spiritual crown, is, is multiple, varied in what that concept means, but the major meaning of this word authority. You can have power and no authority. But you can't have authority and no power. You got power now. But, but do you have authority? And if you do, over what? Your spiritual crown gives you authority with your power over the earth, which is your body. And, and then your bodies as you go up higher power over the physical body, then power over your astral body, then power over your etheric body, then power over your body of light.